over to the world today i'm already getting annoyed with the sound of my voice but it's fine um this is the transition we're gonna be doing look it's pretty advanced so yeah um let's let's get into it <laughs> okay just have your image ready and once you're ready to start just click on it click move slash transform and stay on the first option and add a keyframe at the beginning and end of the clip i don't like how my voice sounds but once you have added the keyframes go to your first keyframe and move your image all the way down and keep your second keyframe as it is once you've done that go in between the keyframes and copy my graph after you've done the graph the way i've done it just press the little three dots um and press copy graph Once you've done that, click your image again, click effects, and then go to add effect, go to mat slash mask slash key, and add the wipe effect. Once you've added the effect, click the effect, click end, and set it to 25.0. Once you've done that, press your layer, press the little thing that looks like layers, press duplicate layer, go to the duplicated layer, press effects, click wipe, click end, and set end to 50.0. Once you've done that, press your second layer, press the little layer looking thing again, duplicate layer, I accidentally duplicated a fourth, but press your third duplicate, press effects, wipe, and click end and set it to 75.0. Once you've done that, click your third layer, duplicate it again, click the fourth layer, go to effects, wipe, click end, and set end to 100.0. This is where you kind of like control the times of like the layers. Um, so just kind of go to your second layer, third layer, fourth layer, and kind of shorten them, but just kind of watch what I do. It's kind of hard to explain this part, but just like watch and hopefully you understand. Usually you'd be done, but my light motion was being a little bit glitchy at this part, so I did some like adjustments to kind of fix it. If this happens to your project too, I'm just going to leave this clip of me fixing it so you kind of know how to have a solution for this problem. <laughs> Mm, 
once you are finished doing the first part and fixing your project if you needed to you're gonna go to the plus sign and stay on the shapes option and just add a square with that square you're gonna cut it to the same length as the other layers click it press the three dots and press fill screen then you're going to Hold down on all of your layers and you are going to press the second option at the top to group it. Once you have grouped your project, you want to duplicate it. Click on the duplicated layer, go to move slash transform, go to the second option, which is rotation, and just set it to 180 degrees. Once you've done that, click on your duplicated layer, go to effect, add effect, color and light, and add saturation slash vibrance. Once you've added the effect, click the effect and set saturation to minus 100.0%. Then you press the plus sign and press the square again. You cut it to the same length as the other layers and you basically do the same thing. Fill screen, hold down all the layers and press the second option to group them. Once you've done that, click on your group, click effects, add effect, color and light and add exposure slash gamma, gamma. Is that how you say it? I don't know. I might be saying it wrong, but just add that and stay on exposure and just add a keyframe at the beginning and end. The first keyframe, just make it as bright as you want. I don't really control how bright you want it. And the second keyframe, just stay the same. And the graph that you copied from earlier, you are going to want to go in between the keyframes and paste the curve. So it should look something like this, though my light motion is very laggy. So it should turn out, you know, how I showed you in the beginning. I hope this was helpful to you all and I hope it was easy to follow along with. I had to literally re-record some of these lines because I couldn't even keep up with myself but I hope that you you know understood everything and it helped I didn't really want to do you know text so I did voiceover sorry about my voice it's not the best to listen to but bye everyone <laughs> Wait, before I go, please check out the original creator of this transition. I just had my go on it and decided to make a tutorial for you all. But the original creator of this transition, they are amazing. Their tutorials are amazing. Their channel aesthetic as a whole is just incredible. Please go check them out. This was not my transition. I just did like a free version because in the original, you had to pay to get the glowy effect that, you know, they used so please go check out the original creator as i am not the creator of this transition and do not want to take any of the credit so please go check them out also please do consider joining my discord server where you can get sneak peeks on future uploads talk to me and so much more so the link will be in the description so consider joining that bye